You're talking about Caitlin Clark, who entered the season in 37th place in my all-time scoring list. And at the rate she's scoring, it really didn't really take long for her to climb. Look at these names, ladies. Caitlin Clark has changed the landscape of women's basketball forever. She is a generational athlete that has created new standards in the realm of collegiate hoops, both for men and women. Some critics think it's all hype, while others portray Clark to be the next face of women's basketball globally. Others have already started calling her the greatest, even over legendary names like Cheryl Miller. In this video, we will take a deeper dive into the rising career of Caitlin Clark to answer the question, how good is Caitlin Clark actually? Caitlin Clark was born and raised in Iowa. At the very beginning, she played multiple sports like golf, tennis, volleyball, and soccer, just to name a few. According to her parents, there was definitely always a feeling that Clark was unique and gifted. Growing up in a house full of men would only make her that much more competitive as she was the middle child of three with an older brother and younger brother. Both of her brothers were athletes themselves, including her dad and grandfather. It was almost if athletics just was engraved in the Clark bloodline. According to her father, Clark played in a boys basketball recreational league when she was just a kid because he could not find any girl basketball leagues for her age group. In hindsight, this was a blessing in disguise for Caitlin as she challenged herself against stronger and taller opponents during this time. It wasn't until middle and high school where basketball really began taking off for the young star. In high school, she won two gold medals with Team USA in the FIBA World Cups at the youth level. She was also a highly recruited five-star recruit and ranked the fourth best player in the country her senior year. She was rumored to be so good that a Big Ten scout said that she could have started for their college team at just 14 years old. I mean, as a freshman in high school, she averaged 15.3 points, 4.7 assists, and 2.3 steals a game and led her team to a 19-5 record. By her sophomore season of high school, she increased her points per game by 12 points, averaging 27.1 points per game, 6.5 rebounds a game, and 4 assists and 2.3 steals. During this time, she was also selected as a 5A All-State selection for her efforts. But this wasn't all. By her junior year of high school, she averaged 32.6 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 2.3 steals per game, and was named the Gatorade Player of the Year in Iowa. This wouldn't be the only time she would win that award, as her senior season, she was also announced the 2019-2020 Girls Basketball Player of the Year in the state of Iowa. Her stats resembled the line of a 2019 James Harden, as she averaged 33.4 points per game, 8 rebounds, four assists, and 2.7 steals. Sheesh. Fast forward to college, and it is no secret that Clark is slowly changing women's basketball for good. She is now only 66 points away from becoming the NCAA women's basketball all-time leading scorer. Through college basketball, Clark was provided the platform and opportunity to drive more eyes to women's athletics. Although she was the first to accomplish many records in women's basketball, it must be known that she also broke records in college basketball in general, both for men and women. Since 2020 and 2021, the Iowa native recorded four 40-point games against top 10 AP teams. She also acquired a 40-point triple-double in the 2023 Final Four and tallied over 900 points and 300 assists in a single season. By the way, which has never been done in NCAA Division I history. Sheesh. I mean, it is no secret what she has been able to accomplish so far in college. Clark has been the clear-cut number one player in college basketball since she entered the NCAA. Mostly known for her ability to shoot threes off the dribble and at the stop of a dime like NBA star Steph Curry, the biggest growth of Clark's game has been her vision as a guard. While Clark's third season in college was historic, that was nothing new for the Iowa native. Since her debut in 2020, the Hawkeye star has reached several milestones, including leading the country in scoring in her freshman and sophomore seasons. In Clark's first ever college game, she recorded 27 points, eight rebounds, four assists, and three steals, all while shooting 58.8% from the field goal. Just a month later, Clark acquired her first triple-double of her college career with 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. It was the only one in her freshman season. She will record 10 more in the next two seasons. After freshman year was all said and done, she averaged 26 points a game, seven assists, along with 5.9 rebounds. Not too bad for a freshman. As she transitioned into her sophomore year of college, she upped her assists to 8 per game along with 8 rebounds and 27 points per game. 
It just seems like with every year, Kaylin always added something extra. Clark finished her junior season in the national championship game, unfortunately losing to LSU's Angel Reese. Despite that, she exited the NCAA tournament after engraving her name in the record books and ending up winning the Naismith Trophy as the most outstanding player in women's college basketball. This season, Clark is on par to be the greatest college women's basketball player of all time. She is currently averaging 32.1 points per game and is second in the all-time women's college basketball leading scorer list. With only 66 points away from breaking this record, it's safe to say she will become the all-time leading scorer this year. Some people are still skeptical, and I get it. I mean, seeing success really upsets people sometimes, but look, let's take a look at the data. Last season, she led the nation in unassisted three-pointers with 1.8 per game. She is leading the country again this season, ranking in the 98th percentile of assisted three-pointers as well by making 0.7 more per game. From the last three seasons, this compares hand-in-hand -hand with Steph Curry averaging 2.8 a game and Damian Lillard averaging 1.97 a game. Talk about being in some great company. As an Iowa freshman, she took 116 catch-and-shoot threes, making 46.6% of that. Just to put this in perspective, Damian Lillard shot 36.2% in the 2022-2023 season. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. With a portfolio of skills that are backed by data, I can't help but think, what's next for Caitlin Clark? As her senior season continues, Clark is on record to break as many records and reach a level only a few have. Clark will hit 3,000 points as she only has 70 points to go, and only 13 players have reached that mark. Regardless of where her numbers end up or how Iowa performs in a postseason, her ability to attract the crowd with her shot creating style and control of the game will make her senior season one you can't miss. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to know how good Nick Saban was before he retired, then click this video.